As you all know that the JE Mains 2023 notification has been released by NDA. So today let's discuss some of the key highlights of the film. So let's start with the examination day. As you all know that since 2019 the body is conducting the examination in two sessions. So the same protocol is going to be followed. So there will be two sessions. That is in session 1, the examination dates are going to start from 24th of January and it will end in 31st. Mind it, 26th January is a holiday for the obvious reason. Then let's talk about that. What are the dates of form filling? So the dates are going to start from 15th of December and will end on 12th of January. So you need to fill the form in this particular time period and mind it that by 9 pm the form editing windows are going to be closed. So fill the form in the stipulated time. Now when we come to the second session, so for second session, the examination date starts from 6th of April and will end, will be continued till 12th of April. Now when we talk about the dates of the form filling, so the date ranges from the 7th of February and will end till 7th of March. So mind these dates and students do fill the form ahead of time and the deadline. Moving on to the city dates and the admit card announcement. So the city announcements will be done two weeks prior to the examination. So what will be the dates for first session? It will be second week of January, second session. The dates will be told to you on third week of March. Now the admit cards uh, the admin cards can be downloaded one week prior to the examination day. So, for the first session, the admin cards will be released by the third week of January and for the second session, it will be released on the fourth week of March. Now, let's come to the duration and the timings of examination. See, we all know that the examination duration is of three hours. Yeah, you can see here that it is of three hours. And the timings will be of 3 hours. So we will be have divided the timing into two shifts. What are they? First shift, it will be from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. While the second shift is from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. So one thing students that you can notice that in the morning shift, you have 9 to 12. While the afternoon shift or the evening shift is from 3 to 6. So if you are studying late at night, Develop a habit of studying in morning and staying awake because you don't know that in which shift your examination may fall. Now, coming to the mode and medium of examination. So the mode is CBT, that is computer-based test. Now when we come to the medium, see, the examination is not only conducted in India but across the world. So the examination across the world will be conducted in English, that is English is the common language in all the centers, that is 25 countries outside India. Now when we come to India, there are 13 different languages, in which 3 languages, that is Hindi, English and Urdu will be present in all the centers of India. There are some regional languages like Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, so it will be depending upon the region respectively. So now, this brings me to the most important part of the video that is the examination pattern. The pattern is same, but yes, there is a slight change in the marking scheme. Let's have it. See, we have three subjects in the examination, physics, chemistry and mathematics. And the questions from each subject is 30. Out of which, two sections are there, in which the first section consists of 20 questions, which is an MCQ based question, while the second section is section B and contains numerical. So students, in the first section you will be getting 20 questions, while in second section you will be getting 10, 10 questions each in each of the subject, out of which you just have to appear in 5 questions or you just have to do 5 questions in each subject. So this makes the total questions, how much we have to attempt is 25 in each subject. So out of 90 questions, that, that are there, we have to do only 75 questions. This is the same as the, all these pattern is same as the previous time. Now, let's talk about the negative marking. That for every correct answer, we get 4 marks. For every incorrect, we get minus 1. So, earlier the MCQ section had a negative marking, we all know. But this time, the numerical section also has a negative marking. So be very sure that if you are very much sure about the answer, then only do 
it or else this may cost you one month. So be very cautious while attempting the questions. Now, the total marks is again 300 out of which we just have to, and there are 90 questions out of which we just have to appear in the 75 questions. Moving on to the next one, that is the syllabus. There is no any significant change in syllabus and the syllabus can be downloaded from this website. Now coming to the eligibility. So see, there is no any age bar to, for the students. That is, you may have any age but you can appear for J means. But there is a restriction in sense like the respective institutions in which you will go, they will, they will have an age criteria. Also, you need to be sure about in which year you completed your 12th or equivalent examination. So the students who have appeared in their 12th or equivalent in the year 2021, 2 or 2023, they are only eligible for this particular how to fill the form. So to fill the form, we need to go to the website that is jmain.nda.mic.it. So when we go to the website, so as you can see that if you haven't registered yet, you need to go in the new registration column or if you have already registered, you can log in from here. So once you go in the new registration, what will happen that the whole examination process has been divided into three different parts. They are registration, application form and the final step is fee payment. So while registering, you need to download an information bulletin, just go through it, what are the important points and then once you are done with uh, reading that, you can come at the last part of the page wherein you need to check this checkbox and once you are done, you will click here to proceed. After that, you will be directed to a page wherein you need to fill your personal and contact details. Once you are done with the personal details, address details, contact details, email, mobile number, then you will be asked to fill the security pin and once you submit, you will be landing up in this page. So here, you will be asked to check all your particulars like your name, gender, page name, uh, address, your uh, mother's name, mobile number, your date of birth, email ID, etc. And then you need to read all this declaration and then agree with this. In between, if you feel that yes, some of the, of the parts is not correct, so what you can do is that you can edit the registration form. Now, if you feel that okay, the form, whatsoever you have filled is correct, so you can fill the submit button. Now students, when it comes to the mobile number and email ID, please make sure that this thing remains with you till the end of the examination, that is till the end when you get your, to your college. Because this mobile number is the only mode of communication. See, now here, once you submit this button, the OTP would be sent to your mobile number. So once you are done, you can see this uh, page, wherein it will show that your registration form is being completed. And then now you have to fill, fill your application form and finally do the fee payment. So once you go, you can take a screenshot of this application number and then you can go in this page wherein it says complete application form. So, once you go there, you will find these details. That is, you need to fulfill your contact, personal, Aadhaar details. Then it comes to the exam center details, qualification details, additional details, emergency contact details. And finally, you need to upload some of your documents like your signature, your photograph, in which the size is required. So kindly go through the website and see that what is the size required for the photograph and keep it handy. And then there is the final submit button. And once you're done with all these things, Voila, you are at the fee payment page. So what you are going to do? See, for every session, NTA will be charging this amount. Like for if you are a general uh, category student, let's say you are a female, so you will be charged 800 rupees for every session. That is, if you are appearing for session 1 and 2, you need to pay a total sum of 1600. So students, this was all about the J Mains 2023 notification. Hope you liked the video. For more interesting videos, stay tuned. Thank you.